welcome to part 11 of this tutorial uh, in previous all those parts so we have made uh, uh, till this point if you have missed some of my uh, video parts do check all those things for uh, better understanding so now we'll start with uh, texturing uh, I'll just press F4 and go to material now the first thing we have to assign the walls The walls and wall will be uh, ID will be one. So I'll just say material, and uh, this is how it works. Uh, whatever we have given the material IDs, we can change as per the requirements. So it's very handy. I always use this kind of uh, technique to do the materials, so it will not fill your material slots also. And just give this one so it's will happen in one shot now this will be a wooden so just make this material and say three will be wooden just say copy take the wooden texture so this is my wooden texture select and assign it Say show UVW map so box and flooring go to material be slightly reflective the glossiness will be 0.9 it will be less reflective and uh, take one more wooden wooden for wall just change this so this is what I have taken the ID will be 4 just select this one and say material say 4 just assign and say UW map it's fine now let's again make a new material say S S stainless steel for the railings and I don't want this material as a clear it so will be black is fine diffuse and the reflection will be quite enough let's say point 0.9 is good so this will be SS and the ID will be 5 and this is again hectic to choose one and I forgot to make a group this is the only part of the railing right so I'll make a group See. railing assign it make a material and say 5 now the windows are there 
and windows uh, will be cream uh, not black will be a beige color uh, powder coated and in this I'll make window frame make assign the same say copy I don't want so much of reflection and this will be some page and don't want so much of uh, the reflection glossiness it will be one because uh, we have not given so many of reflection so no need to uh, go reflection glossiness uh, it will calculate uh, that reflection glossiness also if you come down with the values and uh, if you are uh, come down with the values we have to take care about the subdivision also so we have to keep in mind about that and now the ID will be is the six say the group open and say material say six and just assign blindly it will go proper this is what I always follow and this result is the say group I'll say open same material and say six just assign it that's it group open and same material say six say close group say close now this uh, is very creative part and this will be the SS and this will be the two sided material and I'll just make the material first I'll go in different slot I'll take the V-ray material give it the way like uh, it's a cloth to size it Oh, oh I'm so sorry so just have to click over here and say two-sided material and say keep old material that is what we have taken and here I'll assign uh, 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 some uh, texture just click and say bitmap I'll go and take fabric some around this reddish part it's fine this material is fine just I'll say group open and this is different it's wow well, the job is done because we don't have to select a different part you can assign this and say the SSC is 5 and I'll say 5 and this don't need no need the same so open open so open 
material and say 5 just assign it and leave it the rest will be done by the 3d max material and say 5 assign it now oh, this is a tricky part so selecting this and one is right same I'll make a copy and this will be another cloth to make uh, good variations uh, maybe m fine and first is assigned second is assigned so cloth two sided cloth say darker side we don't need this pulp this pulp Uh, we will place uh, a light inside this so at the time of lighting we'll place the lights so this will keep like this and here I want same material with the cloth two sided and this will be in steel I don't know it may be visible or not material will be 5 Just move this the frame just select all the frames and isolate it. It will be the fast way to texture this. Say so control Q. Uh oh very good. This one and this one. So, uh, okay, it's not a group, very good. So, I'll get a material and say V-Ray material, or even I can use this one, uh, but fine, we don't we have uh, so many of slots. Take, I'll go to bitmap, take some random images abstract images say UVW map again the same material I will duplicate it say maybe this I don't know who, who will see this but <laughs> five 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 and UW map oh it's too too much and say UW map again I will give the same material and this one we will be put in but the only brown shade will be visible so no need to do all the way put in texture VD material and will, will be in somewhere on this color. This is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. And we'll go outside of isolation.
so this was uh, uh, I want to do it and the last part we have just missed the step and some material say copy same thing I could be pasting over here just say assign it that's it so this was uh, the tutorial for it and if you enjoyed my tutorial if you like my uh, tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you have any kind of doubts do let me know that I can sort it out so if you want some kind of tutorial uh, tell me so I can make for you and thanks for watching my tutorial M meet you in next part